Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm going to explain why I bought MacBook Air 2020 model. Let's figure out together and I'm going to open this bag. This is the box from the MacBook Air and we will open it together. And the, on the other side, we have the MacBook Pro uh, 2019 model, the base model. And we have a video there. You can check on the top right of this video. Uh, it was about why I bought this MacBook model. But now, this guy, this dude, changed everything in the game. It's really completely different now due to a one chip which I'm going to explain soon but let's first open the box together okay Here we go. Yes. So this is the our guy. I bought the gold model. I think it looks pretty, like prettier than this. I mean, when you comparing between those two. First, I have to show you what they have inside the box. I, I think you already watched uh, some uh, videos about MacBook Air and MacBook Pro. You already know what they got inside. They have the cable, like charging cable. They have some manuals inside the box. And I think there are some stickers too, uh, as far as I remember from the last time. And we have a small charger. These are the things that we got from the box. Even though the length of the cable is the same, this charger is different than MacBook Pro. And when you're comparing those two, almost double size of it. It's the reason because MacBook Air uh, doesn't require and too much power but MacBook Pro requires it and also MacBook Pro has a fan inside of it but uh, this MacBook Air doesn't have a fan inside fanless design let's open the bag as well like this this package let's remove it it's quite smooth I like their packaging yeah check it out check it out this it's amazing huh okay let's come to the first reason that why I bought MacBook Air because this guy has a one chip inside which is quite efficient in terms of battery in terms of uh, performance when you compare these two laptops um, because of the benchmark test you see 4x and 3x differences between those two so it's quite a um, significant difference between the old version and the with new version because of this m1 chip we see power efficiency and uh, performance efficiency so it's really enormous gap between those two Photoshop editing uh, performance. When we look at those um, indicators, we see uh, three times more performance uh, in induced these two guys. That's why this is one of the reasons that why I bought 
and a MacBook Air. And second reason is the battery life and the MacBook Pro, which uh, had eight and ten hours uh, battery life in, in the normal usage, like while watching videos or having Microsoft Office, uh, you had just eight ten hours, which was quite uh, enough for many users uh, in real life, because when you look at the Windows laptops, uh, average is uh, around three five hours, but even this laptop had the great battery life but when we look at this laptop it had more and more they doubled the duration of the battery life uh, with the efficiency of again and one chip this is really amazing we see 18 hours like normal usage like while editing it, it takes eight hours long like it's in it amazing there is no competition here and they are quite uh, like quite the winner here and also like lastly like i watch netflix youtube uh, etc now i can watch two times more than the macbook pro this is the second reason when we look at mac mac stack uh, statistics we can say that this uh, 16 gigs of ram is equal to 32 gigs of RAM from the older Max. That's a really important gap. Like when you look at this performance, there is a huge jump over there. I use my laptop for editing. I use my laptop for sometimes playing games and uh, like normal usage watching something. And while editing on these laptops, it wasn't that bad like for the MacBook Pro but uh, I need it a bit faster because I uh, upload video regularly. I need a better performance. If you need such high performance in your laptop, you should definitely go for 2020 uh, MacBook Air model. As I told you earlier, they doubled the performance, even uh, tripled the performance uh, for the most of the stuff. Uh, now it's quite uh, faster due to the M1 chip, then now it's integrated chip uh, with, which included uh, CPU and GPU. This is amazing because we didn't have such performance in the Intel like models uh, before. Uh, if you are editing video, if you are editing Photoshop, uh, you really need like this kind of laptops. Lately they released an iMac uh, and also an iPad uh, Pros. They are also pretty fine. Uh, but for example, iMac is not uh, portable and on um, iPad Pros you can't edit anything like yet. Uh, they are planning to release uh, an update uh, which covers like some uh, editing uh, programs can work on iPad Pro as well. But yet we don't see like such performance inside those uh, those new products even though they have a one portability is really important for me and also I'm looking for the performance which was the case for me now we're opening the screen for the first time okay let me show you something else too in their um, specs, MacBook Pro had P3. Okay. Okay. Okay, I will use it. Okay. Uh, in this MacBook Pro model, uh, they had P3 gamut color profiling for a long time. But for the MacBook Air, this is the first time they have this such uh, diversity in the color. That's why, like now, MacBook Air. Is supporting p3 gamut this is really important for editing stuff like video editing or like uh, photo uh, Photoshop editing and uh, I want to jump into the like very critical issue which many people had a uh, problem with it I think it was case that uh, many people had the problem with the keyboard uh, MacBook Pro 19 which had like the Caesar uh, keyboard model uh, okay, it was okay-ish for me because uh, I don't mind that much, but uh, the, the travel wasn't that good on uh, on this one. Uh, I didn't like have 
big problems like uh, other users have. I assure you this has the best keyboard ever. Uh, it's kind of the similar uh, specs of the 2012 models like uh, the butterfly keyboard uh, but now they are calling like they are changed they changed a bit with um, like magic keyboard they say uh, so we when we look at the, those two like the tactile is a bit different you you can see you can see the, like key travel like the travel is different so uh, this is also a like re really important reason for many people if, if you have some tasks to type on your laptop uh, which is really kind of important and let's skip for the uh, last point for me why I bought uh, this MacBook Air uh, in this one there is one like fan inside uh, which wasn't that big deal for me but especially when I'm editing uh, it bothers me like maybe even in this one uh, some people say that uh, it get hot but not that much because of this efficiency of M1 chip and in this one there is no fan as I told you earlier in this video there is no fan so it's pretty good deal to buy this laptop MacBook Pro 2020 is also not that good deal because Apple is going to change the uh, design of the MacBook Pros uh, soon but for the MacBook Air I don't think they will change for two years one two years more and uh, this is like most valued uh, product so far so it's really good op option to um, buy I, I think and if you're looking for these reasons why I explained uh, you should definitely go for MacBook Air in your life uh, like after a month I'm, I'm going to review uh, what are the difference between like the performance and the, or the battery life uh, battery duration I'm going to uh, review all of these I'm going to keep you posted guys for this comparison and if you like this video put that like down below see you guys in the next video